Thanks for stopping scrolling. It's going to be about a three-minute discipling Bible study. We're kind of getting into the advanced topics in our discipleship program now. Once you are a believer in Jesus and starting to live that abundant life in Jesus, once you're relying on the presence of the Holy Spirit in your walk with God, have a good knowledge of the book of books, the Holy Bible. And once you start training yourself to be obedient to God's life for you, then you can come to the place where you want to focus on telling others about him. We can't do all our witnessing by living a Christian life. Sometimes we need to tell others. Sometimes it's a simple outline like the one given in 1 Corinthians 15. I pass on to you what was most important and what had been passed on to me. Christ died for our sins. As the scriptures said, he was buried and he was raised from the dead on the third day, just as the scriptures said. Witnesses like us first receive the gospel and then pass it on. Someone has to do that. We cannot fully rely on preachers and paid witnesses, you know, clergy. Romans 10, 14 says, how can they call on him to save them unless they believe in him? And how can they believe in him unless, if they've never heard of him? And how can they hear about him unless someone tells them? And how will anyone go and tell them without being sent? That's why the scriptures say, how beautiful are the feet of the messengers who bring good news. Think about what your reasons would be for telling others about Jesus. It might be that you want them to experience the peace you found. It might be that you're concerned about them going to hell. Or even that you can't imagine not doing such a little thing for Jesus when he's done so much for you. I want you to look at what motivated these people. Probably you know some of these names to tell other people about Jesus. Rick Warren, the preacher in California, says the way you store up treasure in heaven is by investing and in getting people there. Charles Spurgeon, the preacher from the 1800s, says every Christian is either a missionary or an imposter. Kirk Cameron, the actor, says, if you had the cure to cancer, wouldn't you share it? You have the cure to death. Get out there and share it. Between now and the next discipling video, which will come out in two days. Think about what your motivation would be for telling a friend or anyone you meet about Jesus. God bless you. We'll talk to you then on Day of Devotion.